Hello everybody from Plant Reviews. Guys, today a bit of a cloudy day in uh, Kent. Quite over, the sky is quite overcast, as you can see, on uh, today is the 29th of April. So, usual mid-spring day. Even the garden has a bit uh, felt the rain was quite uh, rainy yesterday. And I have a few tulips uh, knocked over by the rain as well as daffodils, as you can see. Still, very many glowing colors in the garden however seems a few plants as you can see have suffered the incredible amount of rain yesterday you see irises tulips some last for some big knocked over and my beautiful Ven tulipa vedensky as well you can see how much the flowers have couldn't stand the rain and even more the daffodils these are the daffodils here however luckily well a few orchids also as you can see from the top the the stems with a very heavy flower a bit pretty knocked over however one orchid that is really still bracketing up my garden is this beautiful uh, very intense uh, pink, almost purple peonies, Tongariro. It was not that deep, intense uh, purple uh, when it first bloomed, probably maybe you remember the video, uh, but uh, later in the season it became, as you can see, it changed its color, this is incredible purple. However, today I will talk about another plant that in these unusual overcast days for spring is really can cheer you up and that's the rhododendron banan one hick i can't take any credit about the beautiful blooming this rhododendron is having because actually i have it booked it just a couple of days ago in a garden center that uh, due to lockdown was not selling many plants it was actually selling half price some of the plants that were almost uh, at the end of the season blooming and uh, among these uh, I found some rhododendrons, including these very catchy ones. It really caught my eye looking at the shelves, and uh, it was actually a very good uh, deal. The original price was four pounds, that is a pretty good price for such a plant, but I got it half price. There was a deal, so I got it all for only two pounds. And this is the rhododendron Madame Van Heek or Madame Albert Van Heek. Uh, this rhododendron, unlike uh, the rhododendron luteum that I that is still in flower, as you can see, I discussed about it uh, last week. Uh, unfortunately, is not fragrant. Uh, not fragrant. However, uh, obviously, this is compensated. You see by this profusion of flowers, um, and actually, with the drops of rain still on them, looks look even nicer almost uh, shiny. Uh, this is a small plant, uh, smaller than the rhododendron luteum as you can uh, compare and uh, it's called the dwarf rhododendron. Also it is an evergreen hybrid. Uh, you can see uh, the leaves, actually there's not many leaves and the leaves are, as you can see, are quite hairy. Uh, I found this one is evergreen however um, this has very few leaves at the moment, so probably it keeps very small leaves in winter and then uh, they start growing uh, later in the season. I will tell you, uh, obviously, possibly next year, once I planted this plant, or maybe I will keep it in a big pot and uh, after one year cultivation I will tell you more about uh, it, how, can, how, can, how I cultivated this plant. Uh, this is a plant that has a kind of a upright hab hab uh, habit, even if I bought a plant that is a little bit more rounder in uh, habit, like more uh, wide a widespread habit. I think it is even it's even nicer when you have this like pink ball contrasting with the rest of the green vegetation, as you can see. 
Um, this the egg to have uh, the final egg to and uh, width of this plant is about 75 uh, 90 centimeters within uh, 10 years. Therefore, it's an ideal plant for small gardens and containers. This plant is uh, uh, I found is very easy to grow. It's uh, it's a hybrid of uh, rhododendron camp fairy. Uh, the hybrid was. Uh, um, um, was in, uh, selected by Albert van Heek in Belgium um, about in 1960s, about 1960, and this plant was uh, um, uh, is a hybrid that basically originated for some plants uh, um, coming from Japan uh, of uh, uh, the so-called Zalia japonica, japonica, Japanese Zalia, sorry, of a species that is the Rhododendron Kempferi. Uh, that's an ideal plant for the shade garden and the moist soil. Indeed, too much sun can actually burn the leaves and the flowers. Therefore, is the ideal uh, the exposure for this plant is uh, partial shade or light shade. Also, like for the lutium uh, that I spoke a few days ago, uh, we need to ensure that uh, uh, soil is consistently moist. This is particularly important in a pot because it uh, happens often that uh, pots dry up. So it's always uh, better to, if you go on holidays or on vacation, please ensure to have an uh, adequate irrigation system or possibly a person watering your other end run while you are away because uh, this is the only thing that really these plants can't stand uh, together with too much intense sun even worse is drought uh, this plant is um, a plant that needs uh, ericaceous soil indeed actually the all rhododendrons are uh, related to heathers and like heathers of the genus erica they need indeed ericaceous soil therefore with a pH of 4.5 to 6 you can find easily ericaceous uh, soil in uh, most garden centers that well now due to the lockdown due to COVID-19 many are closed however um, I found some in a DIY shop uh, in BNQ in UK and uh, possibly if you are uh, in other countries uh, you might find Ricasio Soul also in uh, this DIY shop as long as uh, they have a garden center uh, this is a plant that is uh, hardy in the UK. Uh, I found it can survive to zone uh, H4, um, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I will write it down on the um, on the comments on uh, the on uh, this uh, uh, on the link of the video. And uh, for sure, anyway, it's hardy in the in the UK. Uh, and uh, in um, this plants uh, blooms uh, in mid spring between April and May. So perfect timing this year. We are on the 29th of April, and uh, it has uh, it when it blooms. You can say there is a profusion of uh, these uh, bright, uh, intense pink uh, flowers. I would say really a flamingo pink uh, the color is really really uh, intense uh, you can't say it's like a wishy-washy pink is absolutely intense uh, and uh, the flowers are pretty small they are about uh, three centimeters in uh, diameters and uh, that's uh, a um, plant again that is, uh, uh, even if it's ideal for a pot due to the small size, you can actually uh, plant it uh, in a border as long as you have a ricaceous soil and as long as the border has, uh, is consistently moist all over the year. And this is particularly true in summer, again, because uh, especially in Kent where I live, but probably in other parts of the UK, not to talk about other countries, um, summers can be quite dry. And uh, this is uh, something, uh, I'm sorry to state it again, but really rhododendrons can't uh, stand. I remember my rhododendron lutium is planted in the wettest and coldest part of my garden. And even with that, after a few days of uh, drought, the, I can see the leaves just uh, drooping. If uh, there is, if I am not uh, very careful to 
to ensure that the soil is consistently moist. So really, these are plants that can't can't really stand the the drought in any in any possible way. So if you are in a dry climate and uh, you have uh, obviously. Uh, chances of a water constraint uh, during summer or during hot periods anyway. Uh, unfortunately, this is a plant uh, I wouldn't uh, recommend at all. There's many other beautiful plants you can have in dry climates, but unfortunately rhododendron is not one of them. By the way, in the uh, UK, I would say that the climate allows pretty easily to find a spot for this beautiful uh, small rhododendron. Uh, therefore, even if you are a small garden like mine, uh, this is a plant that really stands out uh, among the mostly um, uh, the, most of the plants that anyway are green most of the year round because uh, unless I have some very very floriferous perennials like uh, California poppies uh, or roses that can uh, bloom for like six months a year all the other plants bloom usually two three weeks maximum a month per year so I would say that uh, is this um, ball of bright pink against a green vegetation really makes uh, makes a difference in your garden hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time with another video thank you bye